Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Apple iPad Pro, will the first Apple device to feature a mini LED display. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Apple device to feature a mini LED display will be a new iPad Pro, Apple analyst Ming Kai Kuo has predicted. Kuo reports that mini LED display components will be mass produced in the fourth quarter of this year, though it's unclear when the new iPad Pro could actually release. Last year, Kuo predicted a third quarter 2020 launch for the new iPad Pro, with improved display technology. Apple has long been rumored to be developing six devices with a new display technology, which offers similar benefits to OLED like localized dimming for deeper blacks and higher contrast without the downside of burn in. It does this by using an array of thousands of tiny LEDs as a backlight, which can be turned on and off individually to offer a sharper contrast between bright and dark areas of an image. In March, Kuo said these six devices are a 12.9-inch iPad Pro, a 27-inch Mac Pro, a new Foot Pro, a 16-inch MacBook Pro, a 10.2-inch iPad, and a 7.9-inch iPad Mini. The Mac Pro was reportedly due to launch in the fourth quarter of this year, when Kuo also predicted we'd see a new 16-inch MacBook Pro, while the new iPad Mini was said to be coming at some point this year. It's unclear if these planned release dates have shifted due to the coronavirus pandemic, Release dates aside, Kuo recently said that Apple is accelerating its adoption of the new display tech. Apple reportedly now has more mini LED suppliers to choose from, pushing down prices. Kuo predicts that 30 to 40 percent of iPads shipped in 2021 will feature the new display tech, alongside 20 to 30 percent of MacBooks. Apple's iPad Pro lineup could use the premium new display technology after the announcement of the new 10.9-inch iPad Air last week. With an updated chipset, a USB-C port, and support for the Apple Pencil and Magic Keyboard, the new iPad offers many of the flagship features of the iPad Pro at a much cheaper price, even if it misses out on the Pro's 120Hz refresh rate display. A mini LED display will stand out from the rest of the iPad lineup until the technology becomes cheap enough for use everywhere. Suppliers are readying dies for production in the fourth quarter of 2020, the analyst said, though recent supply chain checks show revised down shipment volume estimates at between 300,000 and 400,000 units. Down 50% from prior forecasts, the decreased output is said to be a result of issues relating to the production of display module materials. With constrained resources as a backdrop, Apple appears to be leveraging its massive market weight to diversify its nascent mini-LED supply chain. EPSTAR remains a primary partner, and the company has developed a proprietary production optimization system. While working with a tech giant, Apple is the global consumer electronics brand with the highest bargaining power over suppliers, Kuo writes. In order to find new suppliers and reduce supply risks and costs, we believe that Apple leads the design of most parts and owns related patents. Mini LED dies are no exception. EPSTAR's patented process is viewed by some as a barrier to entry for potential secondary suppliers like Sane and Optoelectronics, Osram, and Seoul Semiconductor, but Kuo disagrees. In a previous investor note, the analyst said Sane and could enter Apple's supply chain as soon as the first half of 2021. Apple's mini LED die cost is expected to drop by about 50% year over year in 2021, and 35% year over year in 2022, further expects a fierce price war between Apple and non Apple mini LED chip makers to kick off as the first products roll of the line this year. We believe that China's industrial chain, including downstream displays and upstream LED chips, will start a price war and gain a leading position in the mini LED market, Kuo writes. The price war advantage will come from lower production costs. This just my little update on iPad Pro in compared to iPad Air 4 that just newly launched. Well having been-